you want to know what it is? Information. Remember, Information. all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. I am not a number. I am a free man. Look at that, I'm all small and everything. Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good welcome. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> nice to see everybody here. Thanks for turning up, really appreciate it. Russ, I hope everything's okay with you. And uh, the first one in the door, I do believe, was... Let's go and have a look. Oh, look, Dave's here. Hello, Dave, how you doing, brother? Hope you're feeling a little bit better. Scott Hancock, thanks for popping by. Anyway, over the past few days, what we've had a look at is chemtrails. We've been talking about chemtrails. And yesterday, I released a video, and we had chemtrails. Well, it wasn't chemtrails because it didn't come out of the engines. Well, it was chemtrails, but yeah, you got the idea. And Dave got a box on his uh, video, which was my video. Yeah, you get the idea. But um, the reasons why... Well, we all know exactly the reasons why. Let's have a look at this video. Yesterday, we looked at this. And the reason... Just follow 
cara falou assim, onde você colocou isso? Ela falou assim, não. So you can see why they do it because they're hiding things in the sky. You're not going to be able to see anything behind that uh, water vapor. Of course, it is. That's all it is. Hello, dear. My wife just walked back in the door, and um, I've, I just really need to show you this. And oh, before we go, I hope Dave, you're feeling much, much better, brother. Um, it's uh, good to be. Yeah, I hope you're feeling much better. <laughs> Neil Benjamin, how are you doing? I hope everything's all right. It's Gary Proctor, great to see you. And our skies, uh, did you get your information that you needed? I hope everything's all right, yeah. Welsh, how are you doing, brother? Very good to see you. And uh, Ruff, are you, Dave? Well, hopefully in the next few days you'll be back on the wagon and waffling and uh, making everybody happy. Martha Duncan. There you go. Great to see you, sister. Long time no speak. And uh, let's go down here. M I C. So um, we know the reasons why they're doing it, uh, or, or some of the reasons, because over the past few videos we've been looking at um, the reasons why they have been doing it. Learn to speak, Nige. Learn to speak. But there's a few other bits and pieces. Hello, Carlos. How are you doing? hope everything is okay great to see everybody in the house i'm going to show you something that i think is very very interesting and very very important because we've seen white chemtrails but uh, how many people have seen this <laughs> about 10 minutes worth of video it really is this stretches for miles and miles and miles this plane must be on fire black soot coming out of the that thing I don't know even if it is a plane sorry about the camera work it's a bit hard to uh, zoom into a Oh, it doesn't even look like a plane, but it does have a flashing light. Of course, this is a normal thing to see, and like I said, 10 minutes worth of footage, it's, it just disappears into the distance. So you can imagine how far up that is, and this camera is struggling to catch that, really. So over the past few videos, we've looked at different types of chemtrails and, well, not even chemtrails really, um, it's water vapour, of course it is, and that's been told by so many people, including our governments, but uh, yeah, this, uh, this is just an awful thing to see in the sky. I've only seen a couple of uh, chemtrails that look like this and I managed to get this one on video. And it is from a couple of years back. Cold dust or wrapping. Yeah, most probably. Caroline Noon, it's great to see you. Folks, great to see you. Hope everything's all right, brother. 
yeah, but of course, this is just a totally normal thing to see in the sky. Most people don't even bother looking up for an air phone. They're just too... And this is what we're looking at, you know. It's there for everybody to see. It's very we all know that there's something going on. Carol, how's it going? Okay. Thanks for being here. Thanks for that, everybody. Really appreciate it. Gary, totally agree. Yeah. I personally think what they're doing is turning the whole sky into a great big one-way mirror, a holographic projection screen. Whatever that object is, that's uh, doing that, that is extremely, extremely high. Exactly, they've been spraying like crazy. Of course they don't do it, yeah. Like I said, the video yesterday got a context box on Dave's uh, channel and I didn't get one on my channel and uh, it suddenly disappeared off Dave's channel. That I find quite interesting. Of course that was water vapour, wasn't it? And as you can see, the sky is a crazy colour. It was bringing its past nine. Or 21, 30, well, 2103. Get it out, noise. You can't speak, can you? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm paying for two internets, and I can't even get one working properly. That's lovely. Thank you so much. I love Virgin. <laughs> uh, that came out wrong, didn't it? <laughs> it's my cable company. but you can see that this like, aircraft or whatever it might be is flying through the air we can see that it's a light that's flashing on it and yeah for, for what reasons they're doing i'm really not too sure well we all know what they're doing and why they're doing it really but they're spraying day and night thank each and every one of you for taking the time to pitch up and say hello I was speaking to Dave uh, last night he was texting me while he was laying on his settee and moaning hopefully like I said he'll be back on waffling very very shortly he's just in a lot of pain so a lot of the time what we actually get to see is this going through the sky as you can see there we've got a plane just a normal plane going past and in the background we have one of those lovely sprayers yeah 
you have to give the the camera work of the of the camera well the cameraman is absolutely rubbish <laughs> but trying to zoom into that yet again something that's extremely high in the sky multiple layers of clouds we can see that and yeah just a totally normal thing Oh, 100%. Um, they're definitely, Carolyn, poisoning our soil and water. Of course they are. Daryl is busy. What are you up to, young man? What are you doing? Thank you very much, Southern Mercy. Really appreciate it for taking the time to pop over and say hello. Mr. Biggs, oh, sorry, Mr. Baggy, should I say, can't speak. Mr. Baggy 67, hello, everyone. Interesting and scary times we live in. Oh, most certainly is, 100%. I never noticed this until one morning I was waking, walking my dog where the sun was. It's always in front of the sun, of course it is. There, there were dozens of thick contrails. Nowhere else in the sky, I realised that there was something wrong. Yeah, many people are starting to wake up to the fact that there is something going on. Mr Baggy67, if they made a film about everything happening in today's world, it would be classified as a sci-fi film, and probably it would be called Clown Planet. I totally agree with that one, 100%. Yeah. So, like I say, Dave's uh, a little bit in pain and we do wish him well and hopefully, like I said, he'll get back and be back on streaming very, very shortly. But the reasons they're doing what they're doing in the sky is plainly obvious. They're trying to hide things and they're trying to change the weather. Geoengineering, we've seen it, we've read it, we've watched the films, we've read the books. Yeah, everything is absolutely fine. Let me just show you this. Typically, yeah, it's all gone pear shaped. But anyway, that's all I've got for you now. And thank you very much for taking the time to pop over. And yeah. Have a look at this car crash because it certainly was. Well, Shama, thank you very much. And Neil Benjamin, thank you very much. Carolyn Noons, thanks for taking the time to pop over. Mr. Baggy67, thank you so much. Intusive, intusive observer, thank you very much. Nige, you can't speak. No, I can't. Gary Proctor, thanks for being here. And Hoax, thanks for taking the time to pop over. I'm going to slope off because everything is going absolutely pear-shaped with me. <laughs> anyway, much love, much peace, and I'll catch you next time. Take care. Bye.